Hey everybody, it's Alan, and I hope you are doing well. Today we are paying tribute to one of my all-time favorite guitar players, because today is August 12th, and that is Mr. Mark Knopfler's birthday. Let's celebrate Mark Knopfler by listening to a live performance of Dire Straits doing the song Six Blade Knife. Mark Knopfler's guitar playing techniques are so unique. It really is special. It's not quite, I mean, he was hugely influenced by Chet Atkins. We, we all know that. He even, did a, he even did a duet album with Chet Atkins. I think it was called Neck to Neck or something like that. Um, but his technique isn't pure Chet Atkins, you know, sort of finger style rockabilly kind of vibe. And yet there are also similarities in Mark Knopfler's playing to some of what uh, Jeff Beck would do. You know, both played with their fingers, primarily with their thumb. Mark has this way of, of sort of clawing his hand, keeping his hand closed. So he kind of has this really unique kind of hybrid picking. He does not use a guitar pick, and a lot of his playing is, is 
is with his strong uh, with his thumb but then he claws at the string to get this sort of this sort of pluck to it that is just incredibly incredibly again it's very unique he has a great sound that is kind of all his own and other players have sort of followed in that footstep certainly influenced by Mark Knopfler and his guitar technique but they never quite fully seem to get it right they don't get that spank or that pluck or that quack that mark so you know so fluidly fills his guitar tone with and he always has that slight level of distortion obviously there's more distortion on songs like money for nothing and you know um um uh, brothers in arms um even later stuff like you know calling elvis the early stuff had a real quackiness to it that that was probably partially attributable to his use of Fender guitars instead of Gibson guitars in the early days. Um, but it's that sort of country chicken picking, you know, thumping, walking bass line kind of thing that he put together and just, man, it's, it, Mark would be what we would call a stylist. He's a pure stylist. And uh, there ain't anybody quite like him. And so, happy birthday, Mark. You have influenced countless of other guitar players with, if nothing else, just your flawless note choices. You're a special dude. Anyway, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. We can talk about it further. Just know that I appreciate all of you, and I wish you well. Take care.